No one can serve two masters. You will either hate one or love the other. The reason why we lose our zeal, our fire for God is because we lose the purity of our faith. When we lose our heart, when we are not able to guard our heart, that is when we lose the battle with our enemy. The greatest battle that we take in this faith walking with Christ is battle against self, me. Whenever I'm walking with Christ, whenever I am living in this faith, the greatest enemy I had was not people who were criticizing me, people who were hurting me with their words, but it was myself that was going against the word of God. The enemy, the devil, uses flesh and temptations to destroy the heart of the children of God, like Job. He, he tried to gain the hearts of Job. He wanted to make Job blame God, but Job didn't blame God. He kept his mouth. He praised God even though God took everything away from him because Job trusted the Lord. And for us as well, the devil wants to take this heart, this pure heart that is given to the Lord. And he wants to change it. He wants to distort it. And when we are unable to guard our heart, we lose our fire and zeal for God. And for myself, as I am doing what the Lord tells me to do as I obey him, I meet I was able to meet a lot of souls, a lot of people um, doing prayer meetings, evangel evangelism. But in the midst of that, I could not seek the Lord wholeheartedly. I was very busy, but I was not busy seeking God. I was doing so many things. But I was not wholeheartedly seeking the Lord as I did before. Times purely, purely seeking only God. The Lord has been showing what's deep in my heart. And uh, I saw the idol within my heart, which was myself. And I was looking back my old videos, the editing skills were not really perfect, but I could see that myself, um, it really didn't care how I look. Um, and I only cared about the opinion of Christ. And uh, I remembered how when I uploaded a video, if, if, I, if I knew that this video was all about Jesus, if this video, um, while I was making it, the process was really for the Lord, after I uploaded, I didn't check the views or comments because I trusted that the Lord will do His work. And so I didn't even know that it had high views sometimes. Um, but the more I checked on my views and comments um, afterward, I had started to have covetousness um, and it really blocked myself um, with the Lord, the pure heart, fame, reputation, um, trying to be influensive. Uh, those things became my idol and what we serve, we become similar. And so my heart was changing, but I couldn't take a notice of that I wasn't aware of it but when I went back to my secret closet when I went back to seeking God the Lord revealed this deep thing inside of me and I repent and I repented and I realized oh if I do not seek God if we do not seek God we won't even know that we are serving other idols we won't even know what we have to repent if we do not have communion with Christ daily 
we will not know what is blocking between us and Christ. So in order for you to restore your zeal and fire for God, you have to get back on seeking God. Not seeking other things, but purely seeking Christ himself. Most of the time, when we start to lose our fire for God, is because we start to serve other idols. And this can be shown and broken in times of prayer and in word. And I ask you, I urge you to get back on your times with the Lord, seeking Him. I was thinking, what will be the message that I will want to say to people um, if this was my last night? It was uh, a video that I uploaded the day before yesterday. The message was, in hardships, love Christ until the very end. Be loyal to Jesus until the very end. And it's this one today. Also, restore purity of your faith. Guard your heart. Do not, do not try to, do not fear men, but fear God. Do not do things because you fear men. Do not do things to gain reputation of men because true praise and glory comes from heaven above. When we stand before God, God will be the judge. Men will not judge you. God is the judge. God is the true judge. And if God compliments you, that's it. The compliments of men, praises of men, they are nothing before God. They are like vapors. Guard your heart. And this comes from your secret closet with the Lord. Your time seeking Himself. Your time seeking the Lord. Keep your faith pure. Stand with Christ until the very end. Do things for Him, not for men. Your acknowledgement comes from above. God will reward you for what you do for Him. And we will all stand before Christ. I will see you in a revival prayer meeting, which will be this Friday night. And for those of you who are in Korea, I am planning to op um, open the location for um, people to come in and pray together. God is really, really leading us to pray together. Let us pray um, that God will revive our nation and to cleanse the church. In Jesus' name, amen. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Amen.